Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Catherine Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Jim and Empire Lover, and what you need to talk about the sovereign Star Hitler. A big daddy fat man has refused to step down, though through his uh, intermediary, Carl Schmidt. He has argued that the Stadt Hitler is a sovereign office, able to step outside the law and secure with loyal members of his army. We have no easy means of removing the crisis or resolving it. Having won the Kenyatta Solf affair, Schmidt argues that this situation may take precedence from the affair, and therefore should be subject to the same ruling. And you issue a new war warrant for Goring's arrest for treason? Uh, Vong Duty has, or G Man, has legal precedent. Step down for now. Hmm. I'm not sure which way we really want to go. I mean, obviously, we have a little path here. But I did ask you guys yesterday which route we should go down, considering our focuses. Alright, we can get this guy up here as well. But. With Kaiser and Goring as head of government. Well, I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should do. Well, I guess Europe. Europe Parat. Europarat versus Europa Commission. And overall, at the time of recording, there is more support for Europa Commission, and which which is the route we will take eventually for in this episode, which is very good. We're also doing final reforms for far too long. People battle over where power should lie in a great government. It's time to answer that question once and for all. And then I also asked whether we should have loyal friends or should we have the Consulate and the Stadt Hitler. So overall, at the time of this recording, which there's a little bit more support for... The Consular and his loyal friends is a little bit, tiny, tiny, tiny bit more support for this group than, the, than getting Big Daddy here. So, it sounds like we're going to have to have at least one more campaign for Kaiser Redux Germany. So, we want Schleicher, of course, but we will go down him and his loyal friends. And radical anti sinkless propaganda and using his influence. Huh. So, for now... Issue a warrant for his arrest for treason. Sure, why not? Fire reforms. And Kurt von Schleicher's chancellorship. The Kaiser made von Schleicher Reich's chancellor due to his promises to secure Germany against threats both from Democrats, not domestic, but dom Democrats, as well as Junkers. However, now that he has his office, Schleicher has been restaffing important offices and making contact or contracts with Junker companies. And some people whisper about a sinister plot to get the Junker into power after all. The new Reichs Council, Kurt von Schleicher, will now begin to implement his policy and introduce his personal project into the project that he calls the Reichs Reform Plan. Imperial Reform Plan. Although he claims that this plan will benefit all Germans, many fear that it could ultimately only benefit his Junker friends. Influence the Reichstag? Subsidies for Junker companies. Solidify the position of Camarilla. Oh, that's not bad. It's progressing. And von Kurt von Schleicher, Johann Schweren von Krosig, Hörger Schock, and Kurt von Schleicher. Oh. So they've the position of Camarilla. Also, we have a lot of soldiers around the world just meddling in civil wars. But, now that we have control of the Reich's power apparatus, it is time we manifest our influence in the Reichstag. That's why we will transform our previously loose association into a real political party. The Deutsche National Volkspartei, our supporters, who have fallen, who have so far been independent members of the Reichstag, have and some opposition politicians who support our goals, will form the DLVP uh, parliamentary group and thus secure legitimacy for political actions. So now these guys are fighting a whole bunch of others as well, which means we got to get involved, send two more volunteers. As you can see on screen, we have quite a few volunteers all over the place already. Our, uh, Afghanistan, America, um, Kesselring, is it Kesselring? Uh, I literally cannot tell, I'm going to assume it is. Um, what else do we have? Do we have any, do we have any planes down here? Uh, we have Spain and Italy as well, so we're very busy. Very, very busy sending volunteers all over the world. So they said 170, oh, that's not bad, 170, that's pretty good actually. Uh, how about over here? Fighters. Not bad. Pretty good. 179. 79. 79. Uh, we can't send that many. At least cast. That's fine with us for two. And there goes the Fourth Balkan War. Uh, German theater. We're just kind of training soldiers over there. Afghanistan is still over here. So I'm trying to take out this group down here, which does kind of suck. Uh, we're here in America, fighting through this little area-ish, sort of-ish. Uh, you might, as, might want to come down here as well and do that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Italy, we've got some other comms to go through as well. We're just holding out here in Italy and Spain. Well, I really don't like fighting on several different fronts at one time, so. It is what it is, but still. See what you can do about that. Oh, yeah. To Bulgaria. We are here for the Army XP, please. Thank you very much. Ooh, Western Command Center and the normal US of A. Okay. Uh, von Schleicher's chancellorship. 
After Kurt Von Schlager intrigued behind the scenes the last few years and deliberately manipulated confidants of the Kaiser, he has finally achieved his goal. The Kaiser finally believes that only Von Schleicher is able to protect the Reich from the threats of the syndicalists, Democrats, and Junkers alike, and to maintain the old order in the country, and, and has therefore now been appointed him Reich's Counselor. What the Kaiser unfortunately doesn't know is that his new Reich's Counselor is forging a completely different plans. While he has announced that he wants to completely renew the Reich, both socially and economically, through his personal heart project, the Reich's Reform Plan, in order to lead Germany back on top after the de devastating effects of Black Monday. In truth, all this was just a lot of talk about nothing. In the past, Karl von Schleicher made friends with powerful Junkers who see the traditional influence and power endangered by the advancing democratization of the Reich and by Velen the Second's extremely negative attitude towards them. Since von Schleicher has now a considerable fortune through his new friends and his influence continues to grow, he's now trying to secretly stop the wheel of time in his new position as the Reich's Chancellor in order to preserve his power and wealth that he loves so much. But whether he will be able to keep his hideous machinations a secret from the Kaiser and how his highness would react if he should notice, this betrayal remains to be seen. Don't worry, my plan will work without any problems. I promise. Should be able to win here pretty easily. Good. And go in there. Italy, you're still holding up for now. America, you're still hopefully not dying too hard. And then Afghanistan, hopefully you can actually win and beat these guys up here. Let's hope so, at least. Ah, one division left. They are mountaineers. They're actually mountaineers defending mountains, which does suck for them, but whatever. Ah. Good luck, guys. You're really going to need it. Really gonna need it. All right, so after that one, reassign government keep key government posts. Uh, oh, that's not good. The Kaiser demanded that we fill some important ministerial posts in our government, which with members of his preferred party, the Deutsche Conservative Partei. That puts a little damper on our plans. But Franz von Bappen, the leader of the DKP, has a personal friend and ally von Schleicher, and has a, who has a solution ready. It replaces the ministers chosen by the Kaiser, who are not allied with us, with persons loyal to our cause, on the basis of party internal restructuring. You guys actually win there. If you can, that'd be great. You guys are going to lose here, though, definitely. Spain, we're doing okay here. They're attacking us, which is fine. It's fine, it's fine. I swear it's fine. Italy, they're still attacking us. We're going to push them further north, which does suck, but whatever. Um, you might be able to win here, too, with these guys, which is fine. Bulgaria. Yeah, good job, Bulgaria. Uh, they're attacking these guys, too, huh? Yeah, they're attacking all across the line here, huh? Oh, yeah, that's not good. That's really not good. Nicaragua. Don't really care about Nicaragua, to be honest about that. Don't really care too much at all. Yeah, you don't have to move. You don't have to move, you know. Nice. Force it. Alright, Italy. Just don't get encircled, please. For the love of God, do not get encircled. We'll get it again. Pavana. Well, it looks like they're going to die. If the Federation was annexed. Alright then. You guys actually win there? Maybe. Maybe not. But maybe. But maybe not. Happy 1937, everybody. Hope you're having a great, great year. Um, what are we going to do here? This thing? Sure, why not? We could probably use that eventually. Yeah. Let's put the Reichstag. So, is there a progress bar seeing how much we can do stuff? Because I don't want to go too crazy. And get found out if we're doing this stuff, so. Well, they're going a little crazy and attacking us, which is fine, fine, fine. Yes, please. After that one, I'm going to the power of the DKP. They're turn democracy goes down. Subsidies for the companies? Let's undermine the power first, maybe. Or we keep going this way. Yeah, we got to do this one first. Military industrial complex. Yeah. The DKP is the largest conservative party in German politics. We know that many of the members support our goals, but are not ready to turn their backs on the party as they fear losing their influence. That is why we asked Franz von Poppen to select some important people in the DKP to join the DLVP in order to reduce the doubts of others. If everything goes according to plan, we will separate the wheat from the chaff and remove the people in the DKP who stand, of course, in our way. Bulgaria accepts a research stream. Bulgaria has accepted our very generous military research stream. As our old central power allies, it's in our best interest that they succeed, that they succeed in the Balkan affairs, which isn't going well. We already lost in America, which actually is really disappointing. Um, I did choose the one that says 
Bul Bulgarian Research Treaty about further uh, internal security measures. Despite the gradual increase of military and police presence in our border region, it's still not enough. Underground French syndicalist leaders are still on the loose, poisoning the minds of a French minority with, pro with propaganda, with many using existing French organizations as cover for their further vile acts. In order to fully secure our territorial integrity, right-wing members of our government have demanded the complete dissolution of all French or French-funded organizations. However, even if such drastic steps may seem necessary, it will undoubtedly damage our reputation in the international community. Managed from the beginning, abandon it. Ban all French organizations in Germany. Current security measures are enough. Let's go beg and go home. Also, we're doing undermine the power of the DKP st still. Uh, we're still going on Afghanistan for now. And Bulgaria is looking, as you can tell, not great. Italy is still doing okay. And Spain, well, we're doing okay here as, as well in Spain. Not great, but not bad. Actually, this looks very uh, concerning. Also, Middle Africa exploded. So, yeah, they died, which sucks. Although the entirety of Middle Africa has collapsed, there's still one place that remains loyal, Namibia. That's the last place in Middle Africa under white rule and is requesting our assistance in the current conflict. Not having them would be foolish, as it means losing our last stand in Africa. Africa is lost. Completely lost. So after this one, what are we gonna do next? Zanzibar, huh? Empower the Vedect. Huh. Think about Bob. Rex Polizai. Subsidies for Yunka companies. Undermine the power of the DKP. Well, subsidies maybe. As a result of Black Monday, some of the Yunkers who support us got into serious financial distress, on the verge of losing their lands and the companies. In order to prevent us from losing their support, we should provide subsidies to ensure that they get back on their feet quickly. Otherwise, this could cause serious problems. It'll raise some questions as to why we're giving help to these companies, but we'll be able to present some plausible explanation to the Reichstag for sure. For sure. I don't know where their divisions are at, but this is very concerning where they just basically abandoned the entire line. It's very, 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 very concerning. Ooh! Personal mobilization, that's very nice though. Um, 38, so let's come back up here, get some research speed, get some radar going along too. Yes, please, yes, yes, yes. We're actually building up quite a few millies, or civvies still. We need some millies though. Let's go with this one for now. And our infrastructure's really got, why is the infrastructure so bad? Why is it 40%? I guess that's intended, but like, why is literally every single one 40%? That doesn't make any sense. And we're going to need some synthetic refineries. Also, we need to get, uh, technically Estonia in the middle of Europe, but packed. So it's Cuba, but not really, but still. Yeah, they're in the Reich's Pact. Estonia wanted us to guarantee them, sort of, but still, not looking god awful. Uh, still, the Reich's Pact over here, too, with Kamilkia. It's okay. Influence the Reichstag? Uh, it's no secret that there are people in the Reichstag who are hostile to us, and suspect that our ambitions may be far greater than we admit. Uh, in order to silence the voices quickly, we should first find out who we can get on our side. Uh, <clears throat> And whom we must condemn into political insignificance. A banquet should be an excellent way to get in touch with the members of the Reichstag. Very good. What's the conf? A Propalian publishing house today has announced its intention to release a new series of books devoted to individual German soldiers. Stories, accounts, and poetry from the conflict of the Valkyrie titled Unser Kampf. Notable examples include the diary of Corporal Certain Adolf Hitler, a signalman who, amongst other distinctions, was awarded no less than two iron crosses for his valor on both Western and Eastern fronts. The diary has provided a unique and fire insight into the nature of a bitter ideological struggle. What better way to reaffirm the values and continuing the glory of the Reich in these troubled times? A good read. Wait, do, do we lose soldiers here? Do we lose our soldiers? Oh my god, do we lose soldiers here in Bulgaria? Uh, I guess we did. Holy crap, we actually lost the soldiers. They must have gotten circled. How? I made sure they were over here. Yeah, there's nothing we could do. I'm, I've already lost soldiers in America. We've lost soldiers down here. We've lost soldiers. We've lost Middle Africa. This is not good, man. This ain't good. Just lose. Oh my god, this is so bad, too. You know, I like the planes, but that's, that's 170's cost is so high. God dang. The King of Finland wishes to purchase light cruisers. It seems as though in an effort to strengthen their navy, the Finnish have come to us in order to purchase two Königsberg class light cruisers, namely the SMS Schutten and the SMS uh, Stuttgart. Well, it is very much true that the light cruisers themselves belong to an <clears throat> older class. It is also true that they served as well during the Valkyrie, though the money received from the Finns is rather tempting in exchange for two out today's ships. What do we say? Eh, sure, why not? Peace with Andorra. The principal of Andorra joined the war against us in support of France, but after their defeat, Andorra had no ties with the new commune and aligned itself with Spain, officially signing a protection treaty in 1921. However, Latvia did not annul their declaration of war against us, and in fact, nor has any treaty since. Several diplomats have been working to resolve this strange circumstance, and now we have a peace deal ready to be signed. It is but a formality, of course, of course, of course, of course. And you lost all that stuff over there, god dang it. Yeah, we're just sucking hard here as Germany. 
Oh my goodness, I do not want to like be like this, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, yeah, not bad. The Reich's reform plan, not bad. Oh, the Legation Council voting uh, council votes on restoring the Russian voting rights. For years, the Russian vote on the Legation Council has been split between the Admiral Kolchakis, Tanzimur, and the Russian Empire. Now the former has been eliminated from the world stage, however, it would only seem proper for the Russian voting rights to be restored. However, Russia is undoubtedly a geopolitical threat to the nations of Eurasia, and some would question if it would be wise to eagerly grant them more influence. We will vote with care. Let's get at least two millies going on at all times now. Hmm, what do you want? Restoration of voting rights? No. Abstention. No abstention. No votes. No yes. So then what happens? One, two, three, four. Then... Wait, so if it's two and two, then what happens? A request from the DKP. This morning, the Reich's Kanzler received uh, an extremely surprising request. The party leadership was of what once the strongest party in the Reich, the DKP, as the DLVP. DVLP to emerge both parties. Since the DKP, after its massive loss of membership to our party from its own pot point of view, no longer has the ability to achieve larger political goals and parliamentary majorities on its own, they see no other option than to join us in order to retain at least some of their former influence. We owe the success of the skillful action of Franz, Franz von Papen, who was able to convince enough influential party members to join our cause and more or less through the DKP into chaos, as a massive number of members switched to the DLVP in the last few days. DLVP. Since important posts were suddenly vacant and the party was unable to counteract the exodus, the remaining party leadership has no choice but to seek unification with the DLVP at von Papen's suggestion. Von Schleicher secretly congratulated his friend on the good work and then announced on the radio that all remaining DKP members can join the DL -L DVLP and they wish him that he's looking forward to the close cooperation. Gemeinsam für ein starkes Reich. Yes. Wow. Now that's pretty nice. Guys, can you go? I know its supplies are probably really bad. But if we get to Valencia, you'll feel really good, though. I promise. Or you'll end up dying all the, all over there, but whatever. Nice. Very nice. Not bad. Not bad. This sucks, though. Let's go over planes here. The vote fails. The most recent vote in the Legation Council has failed by a narrow margin. It cannot be proposed again. Ha! Ha ha! There you go. I've seen a lot of planes down here too, huh? Doing okay here? Doing alright? Can you circle and kill them off? Where's our other division? Oh, you're just hanging out? Oh. Keep him in place for now. Uh, honestly, you could probably go to the description. Anyways, that's fine. Influence the Reichstag? Yes, please. Oh, there goes those guys. I can't remember if I read this one or not. It's no secret that there should be there are people in the Reichstag who are hostile to us, and suspect that our ambitions may be far greater than we admit. In order to silence these voices quickly, we should first find out who we could get on our side and who we must condemn to political insignificance. A banquet should be an excellent way to get in touch with the members of the Reichstag. Why not? Sounds good to us. Are they leaving? Huh. Establish a stronger government. Oh, look at all this stuff. If you want to read about Red Flood, please go ahead. Empower the Verdeck Reichspolizei? Well, we could probably do that. Madrid, oh, they actually just snapped that over there. Would you guys hurry up and win over there, guys? Come on. Hmm. Such a stronger government. Japan announces her ambitions. Go and do state of the economy, but military expansion might be good to do as well, just be so that we can do a new doctrine or grand battle plan. Which one are we going? Have we looked at our doctrines at all? No, we have not. Oh. Well, honestly? Hmm. Hmm. Victor's the Vokrieg. Hello. Ah. So we'll probably do military expansion next. The chief of the general staff has been embroiled in a heated debate as to which military doctrine should be adapted or adopted. Which we should establish an impartial committee of officers, military officers, to oversee the adoption of new doctrine. Probably a good idea. You want to do force defense? We'll do force attack then. Let's make sure we do not get encircled here, please. Thank you very much. Oh boy, that's not good. It's good that you got this many divisions here, but... Still. There 
you go. Estonia wishes to join us, even though they killed off our own nation before. Um, the new established Estonian Republic oh. <clears throat> has reached out to us. Is it going to make demands despite a pact of passive occupation under our rule? In exchange for the recognition of their independence in a military alliance, they will pledge their army and resources towards signing even trade agreements. We'll let them in for now. Well, we can always backstab them later, maybe. Soon, West Africa requests more supplies. The civil war in Namibia is still raging on. They have requested more assistance. Ensuring our control in Africa is super important. We must be sure not to overextend ourselves down there. There you go. Have some stuff, guys. We can't send you volunteers, can we? Oh, we can. Last time we sent volunteers, they all died, so. Hmm. Here, good area. Here you go. This is a bad idea, probably. International military integration. Our Cuban allies made a small but welcome proposal. They proposed that as a junior partner of military alliance, uh, in times of war, the military administration be placed, at least normally, subordinate to our own. Well, in the fact, this means very little. It allows our armies to share crucial information more effectively uh, and fight silently, silently more effectively together. A welcome development. Nice. That's a smart idea. There we go. More military doctrine. Um, mm. We really want to use tanks. Tanks are so much to make, though. The art of modern war. Squad tactics. How developed are we for tanks? You know, I did say we were going to use heavies. Hmm. I might just want to wait till we get to 1940s heavies. Hmm. Even though right now we're really going to be focusing on Grand Battle Plan. Eh, I think we'll still go Grand Battle Plan for now. And look how so much... Uh, was that worth it, spending that much army XP? Maybe not, but whatever. Influence the Reichstag, military expansion next, and we'll go with the modern art of war. Yeah. Grand battle plan. It wouldn't be very grand. The assassination of Ambassador Alpha de Fort France. Our ambassador to Austria, Alba de Fort France, was found dead in his home in Munich today. The evidence has clearly shown that he was murdered by a French anarcho syndicalist named Gustave Beauvais. Beauvais was found boarding the fast train from Berlin to Trieste, where he planned to cross in, into the Adriatic Sea into the Socialist Republic of Italy. There is no evidence the plan was planned by the French, but it's an outrage all the same. The execution of the assassins not to satisfy the people. Sam, this, this means war. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Camilla Khan is gone. Good. Not over there, I guess. They get a good supply point, which is really nice, actually. Alright, let's not die here now, guys. Please, for the love of God, do not die down here. You have, like, no divisions down here either. What the heck? Oh, my goodness. The anti-goring pact. Wow. Bro, that sucks. Can I just, like, go in? Zenzibar has joined, too, huh? Keep him in place and you do really well against them. The Reichskanzler and the Banquet. Today's an important day for Reichskanzler. He has invited all members of the Reichstag, powerful industrialists, nobles, and all from all over the Reich, and influential public figures to a large banquet at his estate, officially. This event serves to promote context between politics, business, and civil society, but the Reichskanzler has a completely different goal. He and his allies want to use this event to find out how they can best manipulate or pressure the people present so they can either be enthusiastic about a cause or, alternatively, do not pose any danger to ambitions to ensure this. It was arranged that loyal allies would be positioned in strategic locations at the event to ensure that as much information as possible is collected and that contacts were made with possible allies who could serve our cause. After an exuberant evening full of exquisite dishes, the finest alcohol, harmonious music, and a friendly atmosphere throughout the event, Gold von Schlecke and his allies drew their balance the next morning. They found there was much more support for their cause within the elites of the Reich than they initially thought. They would arrange that some members of the Reichstag from other parties would try to secretly paralyze their paramilitary groups with procedural questions so that they can further expand their influence. Furthermore, some industrials have promised them their financial support. On the other hand, they have also been able to find extremely delicate information about their political enemies, which they can use to help them take early excuse me, early retirement, should they become dangerous to them. Cheers to the successful banquet and on new friends. Yes, yes. And I want to just blitz through here if we possibly can to get down here. Uh, yeah, one, two, boom, yeah. Because that's so bad. That cost is so high. Except for stronger government. Um. Obviously, we can't go this way now, but, yeah. Power of the rights. Uh, we could do that one. Drinking with the Crown Prince. 
Uh, special trait. The Modern Art of War. There's only one book that every man wants to become an officer in the army that Rick Reich must read. Klaus Fitz is the Art of War. It would put our best military theorists on the subject. They can adapt the still appl applicable principles from the centuries old book to the requirements of modern warfare. Please. Where's the supply point here? There is none. Trick question. Go in anyway. It's because you can. Afghanistan, please don't die too hard here. You're, not, you're doing okay. Spain, what are you doing down here? Nothing. Oh my god, you're literally doing nothing. How? Is that a glitch in the game? They're just not moving up or doing anything now. Go to Valencia. Well, maybe it's not. It's just probably just really just bad supply points, that's all. That's probably all what it is. Good doing, hopefully he's learning though. Hey, good job guys. Wait, they went to war with Turkestan. Oh boy. Can you just go there? And can you just go like there? And go wee wee. Can you actually win there, maybe? Yeah, maybe. I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna wait. I'm, I'm gonna wait to spend our PP. It's just not worth it. Still winning there, maybe. Hopefully. Nice. And come on, come on. I know you want to win. We all want to win. Who doesn't want to win? I want to win. I'm sure you want to win as well. What what keeps happening? Why? We can't change anything. But it says we can. But we cannot. Are we still losing in Italy? Then maybe we request workers. Still fighting a civil war in the name of our country and is requesting assistance for a third time. Uh, this time they're trying to fortify the capital in case of the forces being pushed back. Let's get out there survival in the long run so it seems like a worthy, worthwhile investment. Is there no workers? It's fine. Not that many workers. Keep on on, Italy. The guts. Keep going in, guys. Keep going in. The Art of Modern War. Uh, murder is infiltration. We can do that one, but we're going to do this one next. Squad tactics. The Chinese intervention in more recent conflicts to convince our officer of the importance of coordination within indi within the individual squads. We should integrate so-called group and uh, group and tactician into our infantry training regimen. Well, we got them. So when are they all going to die now? They should be out of supplies. But apparently they're not. Oh, great. Keep winning, guys. Keep winning, doing the best you can. For these tanks. Yeah, I could do medium, but I just want to wait to get down here. Eh, more naval stuff is always good to get. You never know if you need more naval stuff eventually. They leave Middle Europa. The Batavian Communists have severed the last of its ties with Middle Europa, as well as the Dutch East Indies. The government has chosen to leave our sphere of influence and turn towards one of our rivals. Any designs we might have had towards the country will be abandoned for the time being. Well, that sucks, bro. We're still winning here or not? Second Prussian intervention. Syndicalists have taken over the Netherlands, exposing a vulnerable flank through the rural area, our primary industrial center. It can't be hit. Uh, military hotheads are proposing that we invade right now, while they still lack international recognition by the Dutch, or Batavians as they call themselves now, or surely dug in having expected this move already. Others propose that we send agents to undermine the new regime's stability, which could be a more subtle way of securing their loyalty. The third possibility is just let them lie at the current location, or at the current, they seem unsupported by the international, even if they would join that alliance. <clears throat> what arm can the Netherlands do? Let's see, send the agents... Send the soldiers. Send Le Border Gods. We just go straight to war with them. I kind of like that idea. Yeah, I kind of want to go straight to war with them. Send the Border Guards. You, you like not to touch your neighbor. Oh, we're going to be touching the neighbor here. When in doubt, we will always touch our neighbors. We're going to screw up everything else here, but whatever. These guys should be able to hold out for a while, right? Is it smart to leave our border completely open against the French? No. That's okay. Oh, thanks, guys. End of the Fourth Balkan War. For good or ill, the Balkan War is not over. The General Staff has reported that they learned many valuable lessons regarding the nature of modern warfare over the course of the conflict. 
All right, well, we get stuff out of that. That's good. Hello. Yeah, squat tactics will be next. Nice, they're down here. They're very nice. Keep building, 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 building. That'd be very good. We're losing parts of Valonia, but whatever. We lost a couple thousand. So be it. Cool, come on. Come on. Can you get down there, huh? Where's the capital? Ah, right there down. And all these guys are back now. Come on. Come on. Keep killing them off. Do have green arrow. Oh, look at that. They're kind of in an angle. Interception, huh? And there they go. Cool. I know someone doesn't like it, but I'm just, I just annex them just because it's just easier that way. I do apologize that I do just straight up annex them, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Sometimes I won't annex them completely, but... Not for now. All right. Go back down. Did you guys win yet? Oh my god, how have you not won yet? Let's see, 200 some. Hmm, where do the planes go? Uh, they're, they're killing each other over there. Oh, Afghanistan too. Yeah, Afghanistan probably not going to do so well in this timeline. Kind of sucky sucky. But oh well. 40 planes, huh? Coordinated close air support, huh? Actually, let's get here. Let's finish this area off first. Come on. My god, they're slow. They're so slow. Um, what do we want here? What do we want here? The just is not bad. Eh, that wouldn't be, be bad either. It's only June, so we got a little bit of time. Hmm. Extraction. Safe and easy. Doing plenty of damage. More millies, not bad. Go right there. What do we need? Light tanks. All right. Sure, why not? Go to. Go to. Do that anyways, because you can. We need more chromium. Well, we can definitely use some light tanks, but we're not even making any. Okay. No wonder. I can trade for two of these two. So I do apologize. After the short campaign across the marches and urban centers of the Netherlands, we've managed to take down the proud nation. The Netherlands are now in our hands. We must decide on its future. Uh, we can annex Limburg too. That's not bad too. We can do that one. But uh, we're going to annex them just because we completely annex uh, Belgium. So next time I play as German Empire in Kaiser Redux, please let me know to not completely directly annex them. Even though I will really want to. I just, it's probably best if we don't annex everything all the time. So I do apologize about that. Just please remind me in the future not to do that. <laughs> there we go. Now we're back into normal. Oh, they actually lost stuff because we weren't there. Bro. Fun to comp the movie. Following the widespread popularity of the best selling uh, series produced by Propylian, film director Wunderkin, Lenny Riefenstahl, resolved to turn the material into a movie based on the Count's Given, once a comp boasts the highest production values hitherto seen, made possible by state investments into the Babelsberg Studios, and offers a frighteningly real depiction of the war. Starring Heinz Ruhmann, Hans Albers, and Theodor Lewis, the story focuses on the heroism and dedication to all the small people in the Valkyrie, such as the valiant Corporal Adolf Hitler, who sacrificed everything for his Kaiser and the Reich. A stellar movie! Absolutely. 
Nothing like a good movie that tells the story of soldiers such as Adolf Hitler. Um, something like that, maybe. And then you guys, for the love of God, please. Oh, I actually said the right group here. Just, just you have to take literally every tile. Yeah, it looks like it. Uruguay, good job, Uruguay. Bros, can you all go in? Can you all, like, not die? After that one. Motorized infiltration. While well, the military high commands divide on many subjects, they are unified on one topic. The possibilities mass motorization offers to our infantry can be exploited when decisive and speeding victories on an operational scale. Harkening back to the victory of 1870 and 1871. Not bad. Not a bad idea. 273, huh? Bombers, Cass. Way more planes. And boom, there you go. At least get air superiority. Keep going in, guys. You're doing great. There we go. So the Gordo experience will be very no good, 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 good to grab. Don't get me wrong. I love building them civvies, but still. And we need some roads. Like, seriously, what the heck? Where the heck are the roads in this timeline? Ukraine request recovery aid. The Ukrainian government has asked us for a relatively substantial loan, which they wish to use for the electrification of the poorest Ukrainian growers. One of our major, or I expect, allies and bastion of our Oswald against the Russian resurgence. Ukraine's situation is already increasingly unstable against our Russian resurgence. Uh... And part two, of course, this is due to a part of a protectionist measures during Black Week that proved detrimental to Ukrainian agriculture. Who cares about Ukraine? Representatives from the Brazilian government went with German officials today, making an official request to ally with the German government. While far off, they are a nation of no small means and could possibly be used to the German war efforts. No. No. Never. I want to go to war economy. Oh, crap. Resource efficiency gain. Mm, that's not bad, too. Synthetic oil. I mean, we're going to be building BASF a lot. We're going to need this a ton. I'll just do it now. We're already running out of fuel anyway, so. Join Third International, so be it. There you go. That's what we like to see. That's nice. How are we doing down here? Why do we take literally every tile? It makes no sense. Because the victory points are really bad down here. That's why. Hey, the German Middle Europa. A uh, delegation arrived from Brazil offering to join the Middle Europa Union as its newest member state. We have naturally agreed this new trade partner will make a fine addition to our collection. That should give us more consumer goods, I'm thinking. Like, I think that'd be really cool if it could. Like, the more members you have, the better consumer goods factories you have. So, I think that'd be really fair. Really nice. What am I? I'm just a person. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Nice. Keep going in, guys. You're doing great. Let's go there, guys. There you go. There you go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, saying A to Ukraine, eh, it's a necessary evil, you know. But keep making more millies. Uh, we're gonna get a lot of planes here, honestly. Finish payments. Alright. Well, that sucks. We got rid of the, that's gone now, but whatever. Do that as well. I'll get more guns. We need way more guns as well. Active cylinders are gonna be really nice as well. Come over here and grab some rubber. 2.42. Adolf Stoltz. You don't look like Adolf Stoltz, but then again, who am I? Abtalung Dre Bay? Not bad. Not bad, guys. Good job so far. I'm really slowly losing over here, too, but whatever. Military police, because we can? Sure, why not? Italianos. There you go. Namibia. There you go. You guys kind of hang out for now? It's a lot of coast to cover, too. Hmm. Who's sucking up all the fuel? The Navy is. Wait, why is the Navy sucking up the fuel? I told them to stop training. I'm more than certain I told them to stop training, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Our finest hour, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. What a childish fantasy. 
For some reason, I thought it was 1939 already, but I think God is not. Oh my goodness. We are not ready for another two-front war. Alright, so where are we at? We have 310 on anti-air. That's definitely not enough. These guys are gone, which is good. Anything here? Commando specialist? That's nice. And then we're going to grab new textbooks. Since 19, or 1810, the famous Prussian War College has been arguably the most prestigious military institute for higher learning in the world. However, prestigious does not necessarily mean up-to-date. For military doctrine has thoroughly changed in the last few years, and while some classics never get old, Clausewitz still saves stressed students. Others have fallen out of date. It's time to replace them. Oh, do we win? Hey, hopefully we won. Thank God we actually have one ally down here still. Bertolt von Daimling. Force conscription. Oh, you bet we love force conscription as long as I'm a part of that force conscription. Tibet's gone though too. Goodbye, Tibet. We have a slight amount of fuel as well. Oh, you guys just took this territory over. Wow, that sucks. This group spent so long trying to get that, but whatever. Yeah, textbooks will be good. Up next, be very soon. Afghanistani. Oh boy. Oh boy, supplies are bad. Why is the puzzle bad here? Uh, horses. Wait, are those horses? Are th we seriously send tanks down there? Oh my god, that is so stupid. Just a place with another horse. I don't want to spend that much army XP, but making these guys to combat would probably be okay. Our department's nice. No, you're still there. I thought they killed the division quite literally. I was getting worried there for a little bit. Not bad, not bad. Keep going, keep going. Better dead than red. They're right here. If we can encircle them, that would be the ultimate goal. They overthrow the Greek government? Well, that sucks, bro. Sucks to be Greek. Yeah, we're not even make, making that many tanks either. Which sucks. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, actually, it doesn't even matter if they go in there, because we all I want to do is take these guys out, too. Not attacking us there. Good job, guys. Keep going up the line. Not bad. They win the war. Sufis Act has been brought in a civil war ever since the Middle Africa's collapse, but they have been beaten back of the foolish natives. With the conflict over, Sufis Africa has invited us to establish rule over them once again. While our delegates arrived, there was talks floating about reforming Middle Africa. But there remain rumors for now. Not all is lost. A couple comments included. Uh, you should play more Tino Japan. Yes, I do want to play Tino Japan. I'm not sure when, but I'm going to try to get to it soon, hopefully. Uh, someone says they don't like direct rule from Berlin all the time, which is very true. I completely agree. Uh, just, we're going to be consistent for this campaign for this one. Or next time I play as a nation... Remind me not to do that, because I don't want to do it every single time, probably. Uh, let's see where we went through the decisions. Yeah, there's that one. Play the Sujo Senki anime mod. There's some sort of anime mod out there, I guess, that someone wants me to play. I've never heard of it, and there's, like, episodes and chapters on, on YouTube or something. So maybe we'll see what happens. No guarantees, but hey, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm opposed to it, so. We will see. I'll go over there, too. That'd be very good. And then after the United, or as the United Baltic Duchy, you can recreate the German nation after the Empire Falls. Divisions will be, uh, take longer to make, but it'll be stronger overall. Which actually is really cool. I like that. Keep building up. Keep building, 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 building. Fall of Nolens. Oh boy. Oh boy. <sighs> PSA is looking pretty thick. Oh. Irish flirting with German businesses. We've received news that day that the Irish are doing their best to promote a newly modernized Dublin as a prospective center of trade and finance. Several of our leading industrial companies have con been contacted. As been suggested, we encourage them to set up shop in the Irish capital. We would naturally reduce some profits with this arrangement, which could be quite profitable in the long term. Of course, it would be even more beneficial for the Irish. Yeah, why not? German Irish are licensed? Yes, please. Maneuvers doesn't have quenched militarism. Militarist revival that would not be bad to do, but we can wait for that one for now. In the well, that war sport is pretty darn nice, but that's okay. 
establish a stronger government. Mm, empower the Verdak Black Spot side. In order to increase control of our government, we must continue to expand our network of allies and supporters. Logically, we should try to strengthen our ties with the Junkers and Industrials, but it is rumored that there is yet another influential circle around a well known person whose support could be advantage to us. And we'll see about that one. Nice, good, Zaragoza. Which we already just did take. Ah, very good. More fuel, more oil, yes. Wait a second, are we... Hmm. Get this one too. Are we making... Carry plans? I think we are, right? Let's see, look. Yeah, we are, that's good. Okay. Oh. Make sure every single one of these carriers actually has a full stack of planes, which does look like they do, which is good. Now you guys can train. Baronzi's gone, alright. Alright, so you have... What type of division? 18. How many guns we got? Nowhere near enough. Oh my goodness. We need way more millies. Oh man, we're not going to be ready for war, are we? No, we're not. Just absolutely not going to be ready for war. I just want to try to go. This guy's really good on logistics, though. Quite impressive, honestly. You guys still holding out here for some reason, somehow? It's fine with us. You guys are barely winning here. Don't get encircled. Just leave. And start getting some more encirclement. Uh, encirclement. So more entrenchment. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Uh, War propaganda would be bad. We could have had of intelligence. Might as well do that now. Or, actually. Yeah, that stuff would not be bad either, but is it super necessary? Do more research speed. It's only 38. There's an industrial person already. Hmm. Much of them go to war economy. Obviously, we cannot. Let's get another uh, head of intelligence. Makes agency upgrade times faster, which is pretty good, actually. Yeah, you should be able to win against these guys now. Well, hopefully it doesn't require too much intervention from us, but you never know. Oh, that's not looking good here, is it? Not good at all. Oh, boy. It's going to be 39 soon. Just go and grab more output. And we're going to need more construction speed and stuff like that, too. Oh, boy. It looks like this part of Italy is not doing too well now, are they? Oh, crap. We do get, you know, supply through the port, but still. Should be able to win, but we'll see. Was it this one? No. Was it this one or this one? No. Oh, yeah, this one's not bad. We need more, way more support equipment here. Party. There you go. Do we have any anti-air at all? We're, we're definitely going to need some anti-air here. Support equipment. Oh, it's near the top. My bad. You guys doing okay? Where are you? There you are. Not bad. Can you guys actually go in there? Because if you could, even though you're veterans right now, if you could actually make it into there and kill them all off, you can circle and kill these guys off too. But now, we can actually have some better planes. Nice. I think that was worth doing. Saving it all up. Why is my division the last one here? God dang it. We're always getting a circle and kill it off here. Ottomans under siege. Good job, guys. Even though we just kind of went through there and abandoned that. Ottomans of war. Our old, West, our old Belt Creek ally, the Ottoman Empire, has been engulfed in the flames of yet another war. Uh, we may receive them as an, an ally later as a result from A, but then again. 
We are freely giving away Gwyn to them. It may not even win. Is it a maid? Eh, it's alright. Give a maid. Can we at least win somewhere here? Officer proposed another military mission to the Ottomans. With the Ottoman Empire struggling, oh crap, we lost the division. In a war against Egypt and its Cairo Axis, the Ottoman Empire stands in danger. Its army was already set at seeing failure. Perhaps the first military mission wasn't enough, and a second military mission may be needed to sharpen the Ottoman soldiers. Nope. Not at all. More research speed. More millies. Nice. More planning. More air. These guys just don't want to die. And by I mean don't mind, want to die, the AI doesn't want to kill them off. I like the American Union say that sucks. Have you guys died down here yet? Not yet, which is good, but you never know. Good anti tank. It's a lot of divisions, they're not gonna lie. More trenchmen, which would be good. Get some thing unlocked for the tanks as well. Let them attack us. Let them attack us. It's fine. Yeah. Should pay more attention. I hate fighting multi front wars. They're not fun. Really not fun. Oh, uh, will it. <sighs> Come, you know, just die, please. They're almost on a manpower. They have no, no way to send su supplies over, anyways. Look at that. No trucks, no trains, no supply fulfillment. Uh, if we can't refuse, next weekend there'll be a big party in the villa of on the Von Schlecker family, to which the Reichskanzler's closest friends and supporters are invited. It's officially a party, but the main purpose of the gathering is to discuss new plans and try to exchange information and news from all over the Reich. The preparations are already in full swing, but this morning there was a strange letter on the Reichskanzler's desk. And this letter, the Stadthetler of the Middle Africa, Hermann von Goring, asked for a meeting with Kurt von Schlecker to discuss the future of the entire Reich. He would like to discuss the further details in a personal conversation, which is why he would be happy to invite the Reichskanzler to a noble restaurant. Uh, and next Saturday, for which he has here is reserved a table as he is currently on a work trip in Berlin. Unfortunately, the party at the top, or at the von Schleicher's home, is already planning for that same day, and Kirk cannot be in two places at the same time. And apart from all that, should a person like Goring be trusted at all? It is true that the Stadthelder is very well connected and has a lot of influence. But on the other hand, he is also well known for his quick tempered behavior and his rather pol radical political views. So, should Kurt really be meeting with him in secret or not? No, I have no time for such nonsense. State of the economy? It's good, really. The industry is humming along. The grain is coming in from the eastern member states of the Reich's pact, and many systems at work. It's looking out for the Reich Kaiser Reich, and it seems like nothing will be able to stop the Golden Age like so Reich's Council of Tepets. The Council and its loyalist friends. The Reich's uh, Council of Kurt von Schleicher has known for having many influential friends in all corners of the Reich, and since one can never get along well enough, it makes sense to regularly do something together to maintain their loyalty and support. What could be better than that? Having a party! Getting wine and champagne, my friends are coming to visit! Nice. You guys getting attacked? Are you still losing over here? No, it's still doing okay ish for now. 150 political power. We get currently 1.4 every single day, which is very, very nice. War propaganda would be very good as well. Uh, do that one. It says we're here. Come spy master. Very nice. They're doing okay over here as well. Not bad. Still training some. Oh, fast battleship. Um, no, we want to go all at twenty for each one. That'll be nice. Wow, 
house is a mess, is it not? Can we actually win here? Defeat their organization, and you should be able to win pretty easily. And now they threw another division, which sucks. Well, it seems like we can still win, which is good. Still attacking, still attacking. Von Mackinson is up here, which is good, 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 good. Okay, we're going to roll all this up as well to Millies, Refineries, Civvies. Good, good stuff. And you know, these guys are spreading around like a cancer. Go ahead and circle us, maybe. Can't have that happen, though. Force it. Good, you blocked him. If we get Barcelona, that might be it. That might literally just be it for us. They're doing force defense, but we're doing force attack, so. And you have anti-air and all that good stuff, too, which is awesome, 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 awesome. But happy 39, everybody. 939 should be interesting here for us, to say the least. Is that it? Oh, we still need Zero Goza, huh? Bro, that sucks. Might be able to win there, might be able to win here. Just do not, for the love of God, get encircled. Alright, there we go. We got him. We got him. I knew we could get him. State of the economy? Yes, please. Hmm, experimental research. Mauser contracts. Cut up steel. Up subsidies for Siemens. Well, you know what? I'm going to leave this up to you. If you need subsidies for Siemens, Cut up steel, or should we do a Mauser contracts? Let me know in the comments below. You can expand the influence. We'll probably want to drink with them first. Let's empower the Verdict of Rexpolizei. A powerful domestic secret service. The Verdict of Rexpolizei is a brilliant example of German efficiency and excellent training. But we can make it even more efficient by increasing funding and by lifting certain restrictions that have prevented it from going to the extreme for the protection of the Reich. No one should be allowed to escape the grip of the police when the fate of the entire Reich is at stake. Absolutely. positively -lutely. Look at that smell. Otto von Puppenfarten? Sounds like the choice man. Oh, do we lose? Oh, do we lose? Oh, that sucks. Oh, they pieced out. Aww. Graveyard Empires. We should play some sometime. Never played as Afghanistan before. Oh, well, no, I have played as Afghanistan before. I remember I have played as Afghanistan. Hmm. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Yes, yes. CC, si, si. senor. All but you should change. Yeah, why are we using all those light tanks for that? I just do not understand. Oh, and you guys, go ahead. Move on in. You'll be fine, too. Nigeria Free State leaves Middle Europa. Okay, god dang it. No, I don't want you to attack like that. If you're going to attack, you're going to attack right there and force... Uh, mm, it's a lot of division right there. The German Free State has severed the last of its ties with the Middle Europa today. The government has chosen to leave our sphere of influence and turn towards one of our rivals. Any designs we might have had towards our country seems to be abandoned for the time being. Uncertain times. Unfortunate, my friends. Unfortunate. But it is what it is. With a lot of people we do have. Um, what do we want here? Chief of the Army. More daily army speaking. I should have done this earlier. Oh, Hans Spider, I've never heard of you before. Von Vater, perfect. That's not bad. Our planning speed's okay. Organization also the moving, but more daily army speed would be very good. Uh, attack. Supply is Wait. Defense, supply consumption, as well as daily army XP gain. Organization, supply consumption. Oh, that's really good. Uh, that's not. That's actually not bad either. That's interesting too. Oh, I look ya. Organizations, less supply consumption, more daily. I actually got that a long time ago. Come on, you got this. You got this. There you go. Nice job, guys. Very good. At least we're having a party. It's fun to have parties, right? Oh, they're still fighting down here. Oh, that's so weird. They have the Republic of German Bohemia. Still keep fighting the good fight. Von Buck. Are you guys actually fighting here? Are you winning? Probably not. Details here. Not bad. Keep defending. Keep defending. Yeah. Still doing some damage though with the air. Oh, there goes South Rhodesia. Little allies. We need more fuel. 
Yeah, I don't like that. They were unable to defeat them. And de defeat them? Yeah, I don't like that. You should not have a time limit for stuff like that. Depending on the nation you're playing as. A feast of the Reich's Council. After Kurt had turned down the ridiculous offer of the power hungry Stahl Hitler, the weekend has come when the festival with his friends and allies took place in his villa. There was a large number of guests present, but the main event of the evening took place behind closed doors. Kurt left his wife, Isabella, Elizabeth, to take care of the guests while he was in the next room. There were there was a meeting with potential supporters who wanted to join the DL, DVLP and a secret alliance in order to secure a place in a new regime. The two generals and three businessmen in question sat at the table with von Schleicher and von Papen and assured them that they would accept the conditions that they were given. The businessmen thus gave us an access to their connections, and the generals assured us that they would use their influence in the army to convince more officers to join the DL, uh, DVLP. In return, the five will be put on a payroll, which will help them make a small fortune in the near future. After everything had been agreed, the party continued until late into the night, until Alaska's finally left the Schleicher's villas around 2 a.m. and made their way home. What a nice party it was! The Reichskanzler knows how to treat his guests properly! And drinks with the Crown Prince. In contrast to his father, the Kronzprinz is an intelligent man who has understood that the only the DL, DVLP, and the Junkers, of course, can lead Germany into a better future. In order to deepen this bond, the Reichskanzler and the Kronprinz will meet for the fine wine tasting, where they can discuss the common plans for the Reich, the Christian naval blueprints. It seems as though, in an effort to strengthen their navy, the Finnish navy has come to us under order to request or acquire advanced naval designs. What well, is very much true that the Finnish are allies and we would benefit from providing them with naval plans. It's also true that the plans could potentially fall into the hands of our enemies. Though the money received from the Finns is rather tempting in exchange for naval designs, what should we say? No. No. Absolutely not. Okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep, just keep attacking. Just let's go nuts against them. He's constantly. I'm losing men and stuff, but they're losing men, hopefully as well. Their their militia definitely loses men. Yeah, I'll get back in there. Good luck. Uh, we got 45 divisions on the eastern border, which is not bad. Go defensive for now. We're gonna be very defensive on Preussen. Uh Supply wise, it's not, not looking great in some of these areas. Oh boy. If anything, we probably want to put one thing right there, maybe. Exporting planes to Venezuela? We've been, been approached by an officer of the Venezuelan military looking to buy a modest amount of fighters for, the, for uh, use by the Air Force. We, while we obviously will have to say goodbye to part of our, life, our fighter stockpile, it will be a la rather lucrative contract that would stimulate our arms industry. Of course. Go right ahead, man. Zoxon with 100% turning gun? Not bad either. Keep working on it, keep working on it. Force it. They force defense, we force attack. A lot of debt is going to result. But it is what it is. And I want to drink with the Crown Prince before we end this episode, so let's see what happens. Serbia, Illyria. Having a good old time. So, what are we missing? Guns, anti air. Lots and lots of support equipment. Planes could be using some time to exercise. Or do exercises. Maybe not exercises themselves, but do exercise. Oh, got Cass. Where are the fighters? Um, there it is. Cool. Oh, well, Lyria. Goodbye, Lyria. Hey, we actually bought, we beat him. Well, through a lot of sacrifice and blood, but that's still okay. So, alright, someone texted me. I just had to look over and see who was texting me and make sure there's no one. No one's super important. Uh, let's do that. Let's see. Cape Commune. Oh, very nice. And now the Ukrainian loan, of course. The Ukrainian government has asked us for our loan again, of course, which they want to use for the industrialization of the eastern part of the Ukraine. To cool syndicalist power there, however. The size of this loan is much bigger than the one before. Many senior. <clears throat> Uh, personnel and administration believe that the rise of the cynicalism in the Ukraine is a direct threat to our Xbox solidarity. That's a crisis in Germany, you know. Uh, I'll give them the money, so be it. Take the liberal action. Take action against the liberal and social threats. I'll drink with the crown prince first. And we might want to do this one before we go to war with the reds, but they're not even reds, but they're whatevers. Our figurehead. Ah. 
And he's undi- the villain in the second is undisputably our beloved Kaz, but he's repeatedly expressed anger about the Reich's counselor Kurt von Schlacker's friendship with the Junkers, whom he despises, extremely despises. This cannot go on like this anymore. We have to quietly and securely ensure that the Kaiser is soon f- only surrounded by trustworthy persons and advisors, who, always, who will only pass on information to him about the events of the Reich and that have been prepared and proved by us. Then he, he can finally no longer harm our possessions with hostile attitudes. And his special trait, huh? Probably won't take action afterwards, so... Yeah, I'll do this one next. Our figurehead. Through many secret intrigues and exchanges of the Kaiser staff, we have succeeded in isolating him completely from politics in the Empire. He has now only received information that is directly approved by us, and only serves as a figurehead, who has no real power. He is just like a bird in a cage. You can still see and hear him, but he can no longer act freely without noticing us. This, this kind of sounds like, oh, Johann von B- Bun Stoff dies. Today has announced that the former ambassador of the United States and Ottoman Empire and former Secretary, State Secretary for the Interior, Johann von Bun Stoff has died. Ruhe in Frieden. Um, that is not ideal. Just because, this sounds like, I was going to say, like, TNO, Gang of Four, Germany, where, you know, you're basically trying to use your power from Speer in the end, sort of, ish. So, I don't know. That's what I thought of immediately. I know, I play too much TNO. I play TNO too much. I can't speak either. I apologize. Oh my goodness. But I drinks, drinks. Ah, what a waste. What an absolute waste. Wow, America, you'd be looking kind of funky. Ah, we captured another rail station. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, you might want to just hold. Just hold. I pressed J by accident. Are these guys... Maybe not. Um, Joseph Jacobs. Huh, Adolf Lang. <laughs> That's the deducer. Okay, we gotta go with that person. Yeah. 39. Nice. Very nice. Better artillery, of course. Oh, now we, now we need the extra chromium. It's fine. We can afford it. We'll do it anyways. Ah, oh, Spain, please die. Please die for amusement. Oh, you're already dying, Spain. But, you know, do it for amusement. Force the attack. Drinks with the crown prince. You mean the crown prince. Just drinking, 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 drinking. Oh, we're ready for this war. Uh, get some stuff here, too. Get some air bases. That'd be really good. You guys honestly should be good. But an evening you'd be to remember. On a beautiful evening somewhere in the wine cellar of one of the most exquisite wineries in the entire rank. One of our most important meetings of the whole year should begin in a few minutes. Pretty much everyone of rank India was present. Well-known industrials, officers, and nobles who had one thing in common. Their allies of the Reich's counselor and the Junkers. But the evening's guest of honor was the Crown Prince of the Reich, Wilhelm Prince von Preussen. The meeting was scheduled because both the Crown Prince and von Schleicher agreed that the Kaiser apparently no longer had the strength or willpower to recognize that only a strong government and a strong military would win the coming war with an international. But a government can only... Ach- achieve this goal if it is not constantly exposed to the risk of losing its ability to act just because an election has robbed it of its majority in the Reichstag. It's also important to have powerful allies, like the Junkers, who are extremely well connected and can obtain both information and money, but the aging Kaiser doesn't want to recognize this, as he fears for his own personal power. Fortunately for us, the Crown Prince is a wise man, and has assured us his friend, the Reichschancellor, tonight, that he will support us to isolate his father as much as possible from everyday political life in the Reichstag, and that we have his blessing for further centralization or centralizing the power of the government in return. However, he wants to be accepted as a leader in inner circle and to be involved in all of our financial profits. And view of the fact that this will give us the support of the next Kaiser, this is a small price to pay, which is why these present uh, unanimously agreed, uh, those present unanimously agreed to this demand. The rest of the evening was very cheerful after the formation of this very powerful alliance. Much more expensive wine was drunk because money played no role here anymore and everyone had got what they wanted. The Junkers' almost unlimited influence. The Conference, a powerful network of loyal allies, and the Reichskanzler now access to almost absolute power. Let's toast this alliance and the Crown Prince. Long live Deutschland. But if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As World War II or the Second Valkyrie will go kaboom and start. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.